This video is brought to you by Privacy.com. Psst. Hey, have you noticed anything weird going on today? You mean weirder than this? I think I'm being followed. Is that why you're whispering? Look, if anything happens to me, I want you to know all the benefits of Privacy.com. You mean the website that lets you buy things online while keeping your banking information secure? Yeah, I use it. Yeah, it's easy bananas. You just go to the website and create a virtual card. Not only does this mask your information, but it keeps it safe from data breaches. I know. It also makes sure I'm not accidentally billed twice or upgraded to another service without my consent. By the way, you could set spending limits on each card. Say you want to try Spotify Premium. You could sign up and set the spending limit of a dollar. That way, you don't have to worry about remembering to cancel the plan. And privacy will make sure that you're not charged when the, when the trial runs out. You look like a blues brother. What's a blues brother? Take control of your payments with privacy.com. Click the link in the description or go to privacy.com slash manshorts and sign up for an account. New customers will automatically get $5 to spend on your first purchase. Go to privacy.com slash manshorts and sign up today. Man Shorts. Today, your characters will take part in the first episode of the newest reality survival show, Make It Home or Die. Oh yeah, well that sounds ominous. Sounds awful. So where are we? The Florida Everglades. Your challenge is to survive for 10 full days, after which you'll be awarded the title of survival expert. We don't even get any money? Nope. Now, each of you were permitted to bring one item to aid in your survival. What did you bring? I brought this fire starter. I did a lot of research, so I'm going to get us a fire going as soon as possible. I'm sure. Waylon? I brought a pot. I am not getting Giardia. Sarah, I suspect you've brought a blade of some sort. Hatchet. Got it. Now, there are cameras already installed all around the area, but one cameraman will be with your group at all times. His name is Dave, and today, he'll be with Waylon. It's fine with me. You begin in a small clearing, in a wooded area. If you want to get a fire started, I'll go find a source of water. No problemo. Lance, first you'll need to find some kindling. Give me a search check. Nine? It looks like it rained last night and most of the sticks and twigs in the immediate area are soaking wet. You could try the woods nearby. Well, it took us less than a minute to split the party. I guess I'll head out into the woods. Sarah, what are you doing? I'm gonna carve a spear out of a tree branch and go find some food. Give me a craft check. 18. You successfully fashion a spear and make your way into the woods. Waylon, you mentioned that you were looking for water. Give me a perception check. 15. You hear what sounds like running water coming from the east, but the path is swampy and unpredictable. Yeah, I guess I'll head that way. My land stride lets me ignore difficult terrain. Dave is following you closely. Wow. That was a nat one. He's railroading. If I am, it's not by choice. Dave has stepped in a hole and taken a pretty bad fall. His ankle is broken. Okay, uh... I don't really have any healing spells. He asks you to take him back to the crew's camp. There's a medical tent there. Oh, sweet. Maybe I can get some water there. Give me a strength check to help him up. 18. You and Dave manage to hobble your way to the crew area. Lance, give me another search check. 17. You find some wood that looks dry enough. We'll just say you made it back to camp. Cool. I'm gonna try to start a fire. Eleven? Just as you get a spark, a gust of wind passes and extinguishes the flame. The guys on YouTube always make it look so easy. Feel free to keep trying. Sarah, you're hunting, right? Yep, I'm gonna ready an action to stab the first animal I see. Give me a reflex save. Twelve. You feel a sharp pain in your right arm, and as you recoil, you discover that you've been bitten by a coral snake. Take ten points of poison damage and go ahead and roll your ready to attack. 22. With pinpoint precision, you drive your spear through the bottom of the snake's jaw and through the top of its head, impaling it in the tree. Guess we're eating snake. I'll head back. Waylon, when you reach the production area, a medic takes Dave off of your hands and rushes him to the medical tent. One of the producers steps up and thanks you for bringing him back. Oh, no problem. By the way, think I could get some water? The producer laughs. <laughs> Sorry, sir, but that would be against the rules. Of course. Well, it's good to know there's a medical tent nearby, at least. One of the PAs laughs. <laughs> the medical tent isn't for you. It's for the crew. What do you mean? The show is called Make It Home or Die. 
we'd like to stick to that theme as much as we can. So if something happens to us, you're just gonna let us die. As you're speaking, the medic approaches and whispers something in the producer's ear. Upon hearing it, the producer turns to you and says, How'd you like to make it home alive? Yes, please. I just texted you the details. Lance, how goes the fire? I have rolled eight times and gotten nothing higher than a seven. Sarah, as you make it back to camp, you see that Lance is attempting to start a fire. You don't have a fire yet? I don't understand. This is supposed to be working. Could have just brought a lighter, but whatever. Lance, you notice that Sarah is holding a dead snake. You also see that her right arm is swollen and turning a shade of bluish purple. Did you get bitten? That reminds me. Sarah, give me a con save. 14. Take 15 more poison damage. Your right arm is starting to go numb. Chill. It's no big deal. Red touch yellow, harm no fellow, right? No, it's red touch yellow, harm a fellow. Ugh. I guess we can't eat it then. You think? Sarah, you're starting to feel very woozy. Give me another con save. 10. You might pass out soon. And it just started raining. Uh, I'm going to run over and try to help her. Give me a dexterity check. Nat one. As you rush to Sarah's aid, you trip over a vine and fall, landing on her hatchet. Which does critical damage. I'm afraid you've sliced your femoral artery. We're gonna die! Probably. As the two of you talk, you hear Waylon approaching. He's carrying a camera. Whoa, what happened to you two? Snake bite. Why do you have a camera? They said I didn't have to continue the show if I agreed to film. Do you guys know they won't help us if we get hurt? Looks like that probably just turned into a yes. Definitely. Well, I guess that's it then. Well, that was a snuff film of a session. I had a great time. I hope you enjoyed your TPK. I mean, I didn't die. That's true. Why don't we just get to hang out with a camera? Oh, you'll get your chance. Wait till you see what we're playing next week. Today, your characters will take part in the newest episode. Damn it. I brought this fire starter. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. I, there's a second part of the line. My land stride lets me, dif lets me difficult terrain. Hey, Frank, you want to turn on the, the loud machinery and then have a conversation? Definitely, Steve. That's a great idea. Oh, I hit the hatchet. <laughs> now, each of you were permitted to... Mm. I'm going to ready an action to stab the first animal I see. That sounds so... Psychotic. And I want to play Beat Saber. He's told me about Beat Saber. Everyone's told me about Beat. No. Beat Saber is really fun. Oh shit, dude. Hook it up. Although the path between you and this, no. <laughs> well, it's good to know there's a medical tenant. Okay. I got a twenty on that one too. Well, it's good to know there's a medical tent, but. With pinpoint precision, you drive your spear through the bottom of the sh- mm. And Melissa knows how to act with no training. Pisses me off. She's a great actress. She's never thought about it in her life. We're just like, say it this way, and she does. Well, it's good to know that- What even is this? Are you into calligraphy? No, I needed to- just- say your line. Ew. <laughs> We're gonna die! Death by blower. How'd you like to make it home alive? What a great question. Whoa, what happened to you two? What did happen to you two? You miss those guys. He just started the chainsaw from how much of a snuff film that was. Nick Cage should star in this. <laughs> did you know they won't hurt that they won't hurt us? You think later he'll give us some sage life advice and we'll only be able to see his face from here up? Yeah, dude, of all the places to do one of those survival things, yeah. I, I might rather be in the Congo than the Everglades, dude. Oh, God. What is my line? Probably. Oh, yeah. I doubt that pretty seriously. Lance? <laughs> You're not Lance. <laughs> You're Sarah. Those burgers are good, but they kind of make me feel bleh. <laughs> I feel bleh. <laughs> Yeah, because you are used to eating trash. Thanks. Do you guys know they won't help? They won't. <laughs> At least I know what the gag reel is going to look like for this one. Dice, minis, maps, snacks, notes, towers, books, stacks. Last year was a big fat bummer. We got to have a gnarpy summer. 2020 was a nightmare. Everyone discovered Mother Nature doesn't fight fair. People talk about the economy and healthcare. Me, I've been building a barbarian rare bear. Where my PCs at? 
Now playing online's alright, but there's nothing better than them bi-weekly nights Getting together with your friends on a mutual mission To try and obliterate any enemies in your vision, yeah that's real nice